Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are all about living in Arizona communities and today we are back out at Bella Vista Trails and we are looking at some more beautiful homes by Meritage Homes. Now one thing to note is that Meritage Homes has three different series of homes here at Bella Vista Trails and all together they have 12 different floor plans and they are all single level floor plans. So we are absolutely bound to find the perfect floor plan that will work for you and your family. Now the lot sizes vary here at Bella Vista Trails. So if you're looking for the perfect lot, definitely reach out to me so that I can get you connected, not only with the perfect floor plan, but also the perfect lot. Now last week we finished up on our series here at Bella Vista Trails on the classic series. So definitely look out for those videos if you haven't seen them already. But today, we are looking at the estate series. And I really think you're gonna be impressed by the different floor plans in the estate series. The homes here in the estate series range from 1,568 square feet to all the way up to 2,079 square feet. And as I'm recording this video today, the base price of the homes here at Bella Vista Trails is in the mid 300,000s. Now obviously the sky is the limit when it comes to upgrades, so definitely reach out to me so that I can help you in your decision making to make the smart upgrades that are gonna benefit you when it comes to resell these homes. Now these homes are beautiful and they offer up to five bedrooms and they're all on one level, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so today we're gonna look at these homes from smallest to largest. And the first home we're gonna look at is called Leslie. And now as you can see from the floor plan, the Leslie has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a two car garage. The Leslie comes in right at 1,568 square feet. Now, unfortunately, the Leslie is not modeled here, but good news, I was able to get us into one that's under construction. I want you to be able to see this home firsthand. In fact, you can see it right here behind me. So we'll go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the Leslie has to offer. Obviously, you can see the two car garage here. I love the fact that they have the tankless hot water heaters. Never run out of hot water. That's very nice and you save space as well. Now as you come in to the foyer area, you'll notice that you have some a little bit more room here to the left and that's because you have a guest bathroom and you have a coat closet and two uh, bedrooms here. So we'll go ahead and show you the, well actually it's a linen closet and that's for this bathroom. The coat closet's over a little ways and you can see here that here's the first guest bathroom and in the front of the house is the first guest bedroom. And this window looks out to the front of the house. And I'll pan around here. Pretty standard bedroom. There's your closet. And across from it is going to be its twin. So you have, and this window is going to look out to the side of the home. Pan back around, there's the closet as well. So those rooms are pretty much twins of one another. Then as we continue down the foyer, you notice that there's some open space here. You could have a nice piece of furniture there. And then to your right is going to be the door to the garage area, as we saw, standard two car garage. And then across from it is gonna be a little cubby area. I think you could put um, you know, a bench, maybe some shelving. It does have a plug there. And then the coat closet is actually right here. 
So you've got your coat closet there and your laundry room area. Now the laundry room area is plumbed for a mop sink, which is nice. So these are good size laundry rooms. All right, we'll pan back around. And then as you come further in, you're gonna be entering into your kitchen area. You can see here that they have the nice stainless steel appliances, the dark cabinets with the nice poles, and you have this nice large island. And definitely you could sit up at least four bar stools. I'd probably try to get five of them in there for my kids. You've got your refrigerator surrounded by more cabinets, walk-in pantry. See that there? And then you have your gas range with microwave and uh, the sink here, nice large sink, pretty standard in all these homes here at Meritage, I love that. And your island looks out over the eating area here that's in front of the sliding glass door and then your family room area right here. And there's a lot of natural light that comes in through these windows, as you can see as I pan around. Now we'll go ahead and check out the main bedroom. Um, you'll notice that the main bedroom is split off from the other guest bedrooms. As you come in here, you have windows that face the backyard. This bedroom is a good size bedroom. It's hard to tell because there is no furniture here, but take my word on it, it is a good size bedroom. And into your main bathroom area, you have your double vanity there across from your shower, walk-in shower. Got a window above the shower, letting in some more natural light. Your water closet with your, to oh, your, water closet with your toilet area. Um, and then your clothing closet with some shelving there. Good size clothing closet, definitely adequate. And we'll go ahead and check out the backyard now. You can see we step out here onto a covered patio. And this backyard is actually pretty deep. I'll go ahead and walk out here and pan around so you can see the rear elevation of the home. You can get a sense of how big that patio is. Um, definitely can fit a barbecue on the patio. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Okay, so before we get into our next models, one thing you might not know is that Meritage Homes exceeds Energy Star guidelines. They use spray and foam in the walls and the attic for insulation. And this helps not only for your heating and cooling bill, but it also helps to keep the bugs out and reduce the outside noise. Definitely make sure you reach out to me so that I can get you connected with the right floor plan and also the right lot in this beautiful community. Remember that I'm here for you as your resource for both new builds and resale homes. I offer the complete package so if you're looking to sell your current home here in Arizona, I can definitely help. I've been helping people just like you for over 21 years, and I know the communities like the back of my hand. So definitely give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even better, in the description below, there's a Zoom link, and we can have a face-to-face -face Zoom call. So next up is the Mason. As you can see from the floor plan, the Mason offers four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it has a two-car garage. Yes, like the rest of them, the Mason is a single-level home, and it comes in at 1,832 square feet. Now, unfortunately, the Mason is not modeled here at Bella Vista Trails. However, I was able to get us into one that is under construction, and in fact, it's a little bit further along than the last one. It's right here behind me, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what it has to offer. Yeah, man, it's here in Arizona, we don't have many cloudy days, but I'll pan around here. You can see that we've got some clouds here. This is a little bit of monsoon season. Um, and uh, most of the days here in Arizona are beautiful blue skies. But today we've got a little overcast and it's actually welcome here in Arizona. Okay, so as we come in here, you notice that the foyer is uh, a nice size. Um, and as we walk further, it opens up a little bit here and there's gonna be the guest bathroom 
and the first guest bedroom here to the front of the home. And this window looks out into the front of the home here or onto the front of the home. And uh, pretty average size bedroom. Um, as you continue forward again into your guest bathroom here, double sinks, which is a nice touch. And you've got your tub shower combo. Very nice. Continue forward and you're into your second guest bedroom. This window looks out to the side of the home and I'll pan around your standard closet. Pretty much a twin as far as the size of the room is concerned. But again, there's some good space here. You definitely could put a piece of furniture here at the front of the home. Uh, make it very convenient to be able to set things down on as you come in and out of the house. This is gonna be to your garage and uh, you'll see that this is your standard two car garage. It's a really nice feature that they have a, um, a, an Insta Hot or a tankless hot water heater. So you're never running out of hot water. And uh, here we're in our third guest bedroom. This is right by the uh, garage that we were just in, the window out to the side of the home. And I'll pan around, you can see the closet there. And I think that all three of these bedrooms are pretty much twins of one another as far as the size. You have a coat closet here. See that? Good storage. And uh, we'll continue forward. The laundry room would be the next stop. And you can see that this one is plumbed for a sink. So there's plenty of space in this laundry room. And then as you continue forward, now you're into your family room area and your kitchen, right across from your kitchen. Good size island. The sink is in the island. You've probably heard me on my other videos. I like the fact that the sink is in the island because if you're entertaining and uh, need to be getting some things done, doing some dishes and whatnot, you still can be part of the conversation. Um, you see, obviously, it's the same uh, cooktop here, or I'm mean, sorry, gas range with the stainless steel appliances. These are all standards here, and uh, stainless steel dishwasher. Really, really nice. I love the poles on the cabinets, and you've got your walk in pantry as well. All right. The family room area is nice. It's got these windows that bring in a good amount of light. It's got this nice wall. If you wanted to put a TV there, you could face this this way or you could utilize this wall here. So there's plenty of options here in the family room. The eating area is a very nice size, has a window coming in from the backyard. Again, more natural light. I do love all the natural light that comes into these homes. Very, very nice. Now we'll go ahead into the main bedroom. And uh, windows that look out into the backyard, bringing in a lot of nice light again into this room as well. And this master or main bedroom or owner's suite, whatever you want to call it, it is a good size. It's hard to tell because there's not a, any furniture here, but uh, this is, take my word on it, it is a very nice size. So we'll go into the main bathroom. This has a space between the sink. As you walk in, you could put a piece of furniture there too. It's got a nice window bringing in some nice light, double vanities here walk-in shower, uh, toilet, water closet there, and into the clothing closet, and very good size clothing closet here. I don't think you'll want for space in here. I'll show you this so you can then see what I was talking about as far as the space in between the, the uh, sink and the rest of the bathroom. So there's plenty of space there if you want to put some furniture there. All right, let's go take a look at the backyard so you can get a sense for this one. Nice covered patio that we're going to step out on. 
definitely not a huge covered patio, but uh, but pretty adequate as far as size is concerned. You could definitely do a barbecue under here. This backyard is pretty deep. See that there? Again, no two stories looking down on you. All right, to the next home now. Okay, so for our next model, we're gonna look at the Jubilee. And as you can see from the floor plan, the Jubilee offers four bedrooms and it has what Meritage calls a teen room. It also offers three bathrooms and a two car garage. Now the Jubilee is modeled here. It's a single story home and it comes in at 2,049 square feet. In fact, you can see it right here behind me. So let's go ahead and take a look right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the Jubilee has to offer. Again, this is modeled here and comes in at 2,049 square feet. I do like the rock fascia here on the front of the home. It's got a nice uh, front porch here and curb appeal. As we walk in, we're into the foyer. And uh, as you can see, the floor is all tiled here. Beautiful tile. It has a little bit of a niche here in the front foyer. You can have a nice table like they have there. That's very nice. To the left, you will enter into the first guest bedroom here at the front of the home. You can see that this window looks out to the front of the home here. And uh, this room here is a pretty nice size room. Um, it has this attached bathroom, so it is like a suite. And uh, you can see this here. It's got a tub shower combo. So that's pretty cool. So you can use this room for a lot of different purposes. Um, you got a closet right here. And uh, I can imagine that uh, if you have family that's visiting, this would definitely be a great space for them. Or if you have uh, someone that's just in need of their own separate uh, facility with a bathroom there, that's great. So as we continue forward, over to the left is the kitchen area. Now you have the walk-in pantry and you have this beautiful uh, kitchen island with the uh, granite countertops. They've got four stools pulled up here. You can see that. Stainless steel appliances. Um, I love the pendants that they have hung over here. And uh, plenty of cabinet space, especially seeing the fact that you have a walk-in pantry. Um, you got your gas cooktop. And this sink is just ginormous. You can see it here, I love that. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the pantry here. Oh, lots of space here in the pantry. And the cabinets surround the fridge as well, so that's very nice. Um, I'll go ahead and let you look that across from the kitchen here, you can see that there would be the access to the garage. Um, and also there's a coat closet right here. And this would be a nice seating area as you come in from the garage. You can imagine there being able to hang stuff up on the walls just like they have. Sit down, take off your shoes. The garage is locked, so we won't be able to see that, but it's pretty much a standard two-car garage. Now, you have an eating area that's between the kitchen and the family room, and this is a nice size eating area. Um, they have a table here with six chairs, um, so you could probably even fit a little bit of a larger table in this space. I like all the windows with the natural light that come in. The family room has a very nice uh, setup, meaning the fact that they have a nice wall here to be able to put your TV on and uh, plenty of room and space. Got a couple chairs, but you could definitely fit a few uh, couches or sectionals there. And these nice large sliding glass doors let in a lot of light into the backyard. And we'll take a look at the backyard here in a minute. But this home here has the master split off from the rest of the uh, guest bedrooms. So you can see that. We'll go ahead right down here and take a look down here in this hall room. Now, 
we'll take a look down this hallway area here and you can see that the laundry room area is a good size. It's got uh, plenty of space here. You could put a fridge or a chest freezer or it even could have a, a mop sink if you'd like. You can see the plumbing back there. Um, so that's a good size laundry room. Across from it is a guest bathroom. So this is our second guest bathroom. Double sinks on this one and a tub shower combo as well. It's got the linen area right here, which is very convenient to have it right here in the bathroom. Um, then as you continue forward, you have what's called the teen room. And this is very nice. Um, definitely could be used as a playroom game room, as they say, teen room, um, separate uh, living area. I've seen even people put a piano in here and have this as the piano room. Um, also has a little space here for a desk, for a study. That's nice. And then across the way is the second guest bedroom. And this bedroom absolutely is a nice size. There's plenty of space here between the foot of the bed and the wall. As you may have heard me before, that's the way I gauge the size of the rooms, is if you look how much space there is between the foot of the bed and the wall. That's a full-size bed, and it's got two good-sized nightstands there, so that's nice, and there's the closet. As we swing back around, we come back through the teen room, and now we're into the third guest bedroom. And I think this might be a twin of the other one that we were just in here. This window looks out to the side of the yard as does the other one. Um, so you've got two bedrooms here with windows that look out to the side of the yard. You've got another guest bedroom up at front. Um, so that's the way that's set up. I know that some families that I've worked with, they have a little bit of a concern with having a window at the front of the house if they have a young uh, member of the family. So uh, you have two great options back here that have windows to the side of the house. So we'll go ahead over here now to the main bedroom, um, the owner's suite as some call it. And you can see that this is a very good size room right here. Um, I don't think you're going to want for space. They've got a chair in the corner there. Um, plenty of room for the TV on the wall and the dressers two very good nightstands and there's space on both sides of the nightstands so you can tell how big this room is by that um, a lot of times looking at the furniture helps out a lot now you have these windows here that look out into the backyard bring in plenty of light into this room and then into the main bathroom you've got a walk-in shower very nice double sinks and Let's check out this closet here. All right. Yeah, this looks like a really nice size closet. It's got some shelving there. And uh, of course the toilet, the water closet as they say. So we'll go ahead now and take a look at the backyard. So this is a good size cover patio. It's pretty deep. Um, plenty of space here to have furniture. I'll pan around here and scoot back so you can see that. Might be a little deceiving from the camera, but there's plenty of space here. This lot in particular has a good side yard to it. Um, as I mentioned to you before, each of the lots vary in size. So just depending on your needs, definitely reach out to me so we can get the perfect lot makes a huge difference um, and I'll go ahead and get over now I love this synthetic turf here uh, it's wonderful not to be able to have to either overseed or mow the lawn and you can see there is a good side yard as well this lot is kind of on a curve and again just make mention that there are no two-story homes looking down at you and that's one of the many things that I love about this gated neighborhood. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. 
Okay, so for our next home, it's the Jubilee Select. Now, as you can see from the floor plan, the Jubilee Select offers five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's a two car garage. And the Jubilee Select is a single story home and it comes right in at 2,079 square feet. Now, unfortunately, the Jubilee Select is not modeled here. And unfortunately, there's not one I can take you through right now, but we have the floor plan and we have the elevations. Call me with any questions. I have really enjoyed our time being out here today with you discovering the beautiful homes that Meritage Homes offers here at Bella Vista Trails. And if you found my video to be of help, please definitely like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to help my audience discover all of the wonderful communities here in beautiful Arizona. And I would absolutely love it if you'd become part of my channel and subscribe. I have the next set of videos coming out here at Bella Vista Trails on the next series of homes next week. Also, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below as to which of these models would work best for you and your family. So until next time, days, nights, and weekends, I'm here for you and I hope to hear from you very soon.